Hey guys, this is Henning and Morten from Flip Normals. In this video, we want to talk about some of the coolest things we've seen online over the last few months here now. This is, um, this is a product by one of our creators, Maria, who is an extremely talented 3D artist. She's really just been popping out everywhere now online over the last few months for me. So she recently made a product here, which is probably the best anatomical model I've ever seen of any animal when it comes to 3D. It's pretty tight, yeah. It's pretty tight. So this here is, is a full 3D model available in ZBrush and all other 3D software, which has all the names of all the big muscles, has a skeleton to it, and has the veins on it, and it's accurate. So we've both been teaching a lot of creature modeling, <laughs> and one of the issues you have there is that it's really hard to find animal anatomy. When, whenever I've been teaching creature modeling, I've personally been using the references she has been using to make this. <laughs> yeah. There is a really good anatomical book which has which has like some really nice drawings of lions. But the problem is they're drawings and they're in 2D and actually translating to 3D is incredibly hard. So this model here is super tight. We're actually going to, to a school now in a few months to teach and we're gonna be using this as, as a reference just because it's so good. You might as well. When you have the best available to you, you might as well yeah, use exactly. it. Because so, this is really, I mean, this is the, for me, this is like the ultimate uh, mm. anatomy reference because one thing is looking at anatomy references in a book. Yeah, it's kind of hard sometimes to translate that into three D space. But uh, Maria has done all the work for us, yeah. and I can only imagine how many hours she she put into this. It's really, it's yeah. really an amazing piece of work. Yeah, even the muscles are polypainted. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. So it, this is not just useful for for lions. I mean, that's a very specific animal here. But turns out most most animals they conform to the same anatomy, like. A lion or a dog, they're fairly similar. Hell, even a horse. The differences would be proportions. They mostly have the same muscles and they're mostly in the same places based on the bones. So if you have this, if, you ha if you're looking at this, you can, you can do most animals. But that's real world animals. If it comes to designing your own creatures, this is where this, at least for me, becomes super valuable. Yeah. When you're doing your own creatures, I mean, we keep talking about this all the time. You got to start with proper bones, and you got to start with getting the muscles out and all that. But it's really hard to find good reference for it. So this here, this here is one of the most valuable resources we have. Uh, I think one of the cool things is like being able to view your model, or you know, the, the proportions of the model with the skeleton inside to sort of see, okay, mm. and that that really gives you an understanding of, okay, why do we have the bony landmarks that we do? Mm, you can exactly. see it here, like the the bones to sort of press out against the against the skin. That's sort of what gives us that mm. the bony landmark. So it makes it a lot easier to design and create sort of more realistic looking figures. Yeah, I mean, but you can take that realism into something stylized as well, but it gives it a a more realistic feel. I think it's super interesting actually what you're looking at right now, which is the paw. <laughs> Lion paws are actually really crazy yeah, it's weird, like, because they, you have this huge like, like pad here, which is, which is just um, to like cushion the fall when it's running. As yeah. you can see, if you have cats as well, you're probably been booping your cat all the time here because it's like <laughs> super soft and squishy. But you can just see how how far up the the, the bones actually are and how in a, the craziest fashion ever, the claws actually go out of the skin here. Mm. Like it's, it's really, it's really interesting looking at that. Like you need a lot of padding mm. when, I mean, a lion's pretty heavy. I don't yeah. know. What does a lion weigh? 150? I have no idea. 200 kilos? Whatever that is in other units. <laughs> freedom units. <laughs> freedom units. <laughs> uh, so you need a lot of cushioning, right? So yeah. these pads, I mean, these are just things that you start to discover once you play around with, with models like this. Yeah, it really is. Like I really can't stress how, how important it is to have some kind of resource like this. And also this, is, uh, this was the first resource we actually got on the marketplace, mm. which was not our own because this was just the coolest thing. So like we said, this is something we personally are using when teaching and when learning anatomy. And also, like we said, when it comes to creature design, you just need tight anatomy there. You're doing a monster. It's not just based on alien anatomy. <laughs> it's totally based off of real world anatomy like this. A super cool thing is that it's not just the ZBrush file that's there. Is Maria's also included the substance scene. Mm. So you can go through all the textures and everything, which is really cool to play around with. Yeah. Yeah, Marmoset said as well, mm. which is super cool. So uh, this is also 50% off now during the summer uh, oh, yeah. until August 2nd, which uh, use the code SUMMER at checkout to get uh, whooping 50% off. 
Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Marketing terms. <laughs> but it really is. I, I really, I've enjoyed just playing around with this lie and just checking out because it's just so well done. It's so well done. You can also just pause the screen at any one time here and just study it. Yeah. Like there are some screenshots as well on the websites of it, and uh, even if you even if you're interested in getting this, you can you 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 can still learn a lot just from looking at Maria's art station and looking at the mm-hmm. references on our own page here. So yeah, we really hope this hair has been been interesting. Like we we said, this is this is one of the coolest coolest products we 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 come across yeah. when it comes to actual three D models. So uh, if you if you get it, let let us know and um, remember that you have fifty percent off for at least another week, unless you're watching this from after the second. If you're watching this in the future, too bad. Yeah, <laughs> sorry guys. <laughs> it's still a really good model, though. So you should definitely check it out. Yeah. 